Sesi, Rajesh, please mute systems. Okay, right, fine. So before going to start the session, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Sridhar. I have a total 10 years of experience in complete database. In different databases I involved, like SQL Server, Oracle, Teradata. So I have a good experience on different databases. I worked on different domains also like uh, banking, insurance, clinical, and waste management systems. So present, I work with RSA Republican Service. as a senior consultant that is completely garbage collector and recycler. This is the well-known organization in USA. Garbage collector and recycler is. And here we are going to deal with the databases like Oracle, Teradata and SQL Server. Three different databases are there. That is myself. Okay. So according to the teaching experience, in past four years onwards, I am taking the batches limited sessions only from NA Technologies. I am representing the batches from NA Technologies. So that is myself brief. Today's part is and uh, we are not going into this uh, deep subject level. We'll see the significance of SQL part today, why we need to learn SQL. So, and before going to learn the SQL part, what we required. And also, who needs to learn this SQL part? or as a developer, admin, or a BI export. So whatever it is, the SQL is a mandatory. So without SQL, even single day, then we can't run on enterprise level. That is true, it is. So SQL is a mandatory skill for all kind of technologies or for individual SQL developers. So that is, we'll see later, the roles and responsibilities. And today's agenda is, this is we are going to be covered here. What is mean by the data? And data availability. And data storage. One second, guys, give me two minutes of time, please. Online, guys. All of you, meanwhile, Please share your mail IDs and phone numbers in the chat box. Who are not shared till, please share your mail IDs along with the phone number.
Okay, right. So we are going to be covered today. So the significance of this SQL part, we'll see why we required SQL and where we required SQL. And any interview it is, doesn't, that doesn't matter if you are a developer or admin, or a BI developer, BI export, application export. So mandatory the skill is SQL, the mandatory skill. The first 10 minutes, the questions completely will be raised on SQL part only. That is completely true it is. So without SQL, then definitely then we can't move in your technology, okay? Or else a plain as a developer. So this is the mandatory skill for all enterprises, for all roles. So that is what we are coming for the SQL. Before going to talk about SQL, so we should know about data and data availability. So the data storage is where we can store our data, okay? why we need to store the data, why we need to handle the data, okay? So, and what kind of products are there to store your data securely? That is all then we are going to be covered today. Tomorrow then we'll see this complete practical implementation, how to speak with the databases, right? See, first of all, the question number one is, before going for SQL, what is mean by the data it is, right? If the data is not there, okay, the organization don't require Power BI developers, application developers. So, so we are all don't require for the enterprises. So must and should, the data required here. What is mean by the data is, data is collection of information, or unit of information it is. Collective information, we call it as a data. Suppose for example, if I'm saying something about one object or either a chair or a laptop or a bank or airlines or a shipping. So if you are saying anything else about the object, that is, we call it as a data it is. For example, employee. Employee ID, name, location, address. What is this? This is this information about that employee. Right or wrong? So this data may be in a numerical format. Different formats of data is available. Numbers, characters, dates, images. Yes, image is also one of the data. We are taking selfies, right or wrong? Daily. You know very well, I know. Okay, lot of selfies we are taking. What format it is? It is in JPEG format, right or wrong? Yeah. Today, right. one person is taking, not you and me only. So today I am taking a snap, selfie. Why? After two years, I can see how beauty I am today. Right or wrong? Okay, so that is also explained. Okay, the state of previous, that is also the data and video format or else, see in Hyderabad city, in each and every signal, we have a cameras, <coughs> right? Why the cameras in each and every signal? Keep on reading, the camera is reading. Okay, keep on 24 by 7, stream the data it is. Keep on, it's going to be read the data. 
So for what they are a place, the cameras in each and every signal means to predict this, whatever it's happened wrong and how many people are going to be jump the signals, okay, cross the signals and anything else, something wrong happened, if they want to see, they are place the cameras in all over the city. But this is completely readable streaming data. It is keep on its reading. But so if they want to analyze how many people are staying in the city based on cameras they can't see. Why? Because daily I am 10 times I'm coming and I'm going to the office and home. If they are counted 10 times, 10 razors will come down. Right or wrong? It is an unstructured data, it is. It's not in a structure. So if they... So how many people are staying in this uh, city? Again, they need to come down for so structured data based on other code or voter ID. Okay, they can say so. How many people are staying in the city? So the data will presented, collected data will be presented in different formats, maybe in a numerical format, character format, image, audio, video. Okay. So in different formats, the data available nowadays. Okay, fine. But any data, whatever data it is in a world, that should be come under three categories. Structured, unstructured, and semi-structural format. Structured means the data should be arranged in a proper organized manner. So other part. 109 crore of people are there in this country. All should be in a uniformed way. Other number should be generated. Name, location, address, okay, date of birth. These are all are required. Okay. So whenever if you know the type of the data, then we can arrange this data in a structured manner. See, like this, in a tabular manner. So this was the way then we can arrange in a table way, employee ID, employee name, location. So like this, we can arrange. Please mute your systems. Other name. So other location or else date of birth. All people should have like this only. Other number should be populate in numerical format only. Okay. Anybody have a other number with question marks and special symbols? No. Okay. So, and also name. See here. The name should be populate in characters only. Name should be populated, character format only. So all others, name should be in character only. It is a fixed format. Then only then we can arrange the data in table format. Table format, we can arrange it. This type of data, we call it as a structured data. So one time definition, keep on, then we can load years and years and years in a same area. That is meant by the structured data. Unstructured formatted data. See here. You believe or not in a world till 60% is unstructured. Okay. Then we can't fix in a tabular format. Unstructured means all your digital marketing sites. Facebook. Do you know? I think maybe. So each and every person having two. Okay. Two, three accounts. Right. Right, I know that. So in a Facebook, I have, suppose for example, 500 friends are there, 500 friends. You are asking me the question, what they will post next hour? Then I can't say, okay? Somebody will post image, audio, video. Somebody don't have any work and he is going to be paste. So unwanted content it is, text format. So what happened here is frequently the format is changing. 
whenever the frequently the format is changed, then we can't fix that is in a tabular format. Okay. So if it is a fixed length or a fixed format, it is, then we can arrange the data in a table level. So frequently it is changing, then we can't fix in a table. Sometimes it is image or a video or audio that is called as unstructured data. And one more is their semi-structured data. Sometimes it is coming in a structured format. Sometimes it is coming in unstructured format it is. Like we can see our system log files. System log files, okay? This is mean by the data. data is nothing but unit of information. Anything else, if you are saying something about that object, any object it is. Panipur Bandi. Yes, of course, that is also the business. Right or wrong? Okay. So if we are saying something about the business, so that is mean by the data. So if it is a Panipur Bandi, he cannot store anywhere else. Why? Because less number of transactions will happen. Right or wrong? He can remind by mind what is going on there, how many people are coming and what they are purchasing. Okay, so they will come down tomorrow or not. If it is a bank, take a bank in one branch in one city. Okay, one bank in one city. How many transactions will happen, guys? Lacks of transactions. Is it possible to remind by mind? It's never ever possible to remind by mind it is. Even though he is a triple IT guy or NIT people, so it's not possible it is. That is what they are depending on the system to store the transactional data, what is going on. So if they are not storing what is going on, today I withdraw 50,000, tomorrow also I will ask 50,000 again, right or wrong? Why? Because yesterday's transaction proof is not there. Right? So that is what each and every transaction is mandatory to store. Why? Because three questions will raise always in a data level. What is going on? What happened? What needs to be happened? So what needs to be happened? That is your BI, business analysis. Okay. So what happened? That is called as ETL. Okay, what happened? If I know what happened, then we can estimate what needs to be happened. When what happened will come down, whenever we are going to be record what is going on, then only then we can say what happened in this. So what happened is not there. What needs to be happened, we can't do it. Okay, that is what in all over the layers, we require a data is important. So the data is minded. That is what we are storing data. Anything it is, whatever data it is. The proof of transaction it is. Okay. So last 20 years back or 30 years back also. So we have a data storage, but it is not in systems according to the rocks. Something is find out today, archaeologist. Okay. So then this guy is saying, based on that object, what happened, okay, 200 years BC or 2000 years BC? How he can say, based on this proof. So that is what we required here. Storage is required. Data storage we required. All of you online guys, so far who didn't share your mail IDs and phone numbers, please share your mail IDs and phone numbers in the chat box. Right guys.
So right, see, storage, storage is required here. So if you are not storing any format, it is the doesn't matter of the format, what format you are storing. That storage is required. If you are not storing today, then tomorrow, then we can't see that one. So that is what in different ways we are storing the data. So according to the system, wherever we are storing our data, that is we are calling as a data storage. Okay, in which part we are storing, which part we are going to be keep the data. That is, we call it as a data storage. Maybe it is in structured format or unstructured format it is. Two major systems are there to store our data according to the system. If it is a system, if it is a system, data is very secure. Okay, so we can handle smooth the data years and years and years of data. That is what nowadays we are storing the data in system level. Almost 80 to 90 percent of the data in the world. Okay, structured data only. We are storing according to the systems. Major two systems we are having here. One is file. Second one is database it is. Different files are available nowadays to store your data. Document, DOC, Word document. We are preparing the CV, right or wrong? All we are preparing CV and obviously we are copying and we're pasting it somewhere else. Okay. So anyway, what we are doing, that is also the data. Some sort of six years, five years, 10 years of experience we are exposing in the document format right or either in a doc or a pdf okay so xml chosen then excel and jpg so these are all formats of files are available image if you want to store jpg okay so or book information if you want to store pdf and cv if you want to store we are using doc that is also the data it is and these two formats xml and JSON format advanced formats too data if you want why we are storing in this format means if the data if you want to transform one ftp to other ftp one server to other server through file system only. The more secured file format is XML and JSON, not doc format in the Excel format. While passing the doc or Excel or a JPG format, SQL injections will be happened. Hackers easily, they can hack the files. If it is a bank, if they want to move the credential information, okay, they are not going to be passed in Excel format. So advanced formats, XML and JSON format. Okay, so that is what initially we stored our data in file streams only. Initially we stored our data in file streams. Here advantages and disadvantages both are there if you are storing in a file format. What was the advantage is, so we can copy and paste easily data. And we can move the file from one place to other place easy. There is no restriction, copy and paste over there. Cut it and paste over there. Moment is very simple. But disadvantage is here, Hadoop volume of data, more volumes of data, lakhs and lakhs of transaction, take a bank. So for one branch in one city, if they are loading in Excel file, how many Excel files are required throughout the world for access bank only? Okay, lakhs of Excel files are required. These are all Excel files. If they want to be controlled, it's a very difficult it is, right? And also one more disadvantage, major disadvantage, relation. So data relation we can't establish in file systems. If we don't have a relation, so obviously redundancy will be increased. 
okay account table and loan table these two are not in relation account table they have to be maintained personal information and loan table also again they want to be maintained personal information redundancy will happen so that they are introduced this system is called as database okay so database management system they are introduced just like as this is a tool actually so in this tool we can store our data hadoop volumes of data or huge volumes of data in one place we can organize okay we can organize in one place years and years and years that is what the people are coming so for to the database to store the data or to store their information so here also we are having disadvantages and advantages are there in database also disadvantages we can't move this database copy paste we can't copy and we can't paste somewhere else it's not easy migrations are very difficult okay so and also load is slow down day by day then we had to load the data so some sort of years of data at a time then we can't load into that database level slow down then we had to build but retrieval is very fast okay only hyderabad information if i want to see based on conditional statement then we can get all data so in single query by using single query then we can get it so this is what we are coming for okay databases what is mean by the database technically so it is organized collection of data organized collection of data most probably the databases will support structured data only tabular formatted data or multi dimensional data only it will support so unstructured data then we can't load it so structured formatted data only then we can load it's yes so in beautiful way we are organizing the data account account name account number location address 1 address 2 so it is a defined format all accounts 10 trillion records 10 trillion accounts should be there in the same format then only then we can organize this one so that is what we are coming for the databases then see so how many databases are available in market right now these are all are familiar lot of databases are available like just like as a bikes see the bikes so many bikes are available bike is a tool okay so many bikes are available so pulsar avenger royal enfield bmw hanley davidson okay all are bikes but here somebody's requirement is to participate in racing he purchased activa is it possible the yes, sector is also bike right why it is not possible this is not a right product yes of course it is a bike but it's not a right product it is so he need to be purchase the sports bikes to participate in racing one body one person requirement is okay mileage daily he want to travel office to home and home to office but he purchased bmw bike how the bmw bike is going to be provide the mileage okay hardly 3 4 kilometers right as for the requirement then we had to select the product so the same way enterprise will decide so architect will decide business analyst will decide which tool then we had to be use according to their purpose okay so i want to construct a building example so what is the purpose here or residential or a go down or a functional or apartment it is all are buildings only okay so residential building interior is different go down interior is different 
apartment interior is different right or wrong so the building construction is same and purpose is going to be very according to the purpose construction needs to be affected same way here also these are all our tools so many organizations are providing the tool whatever tool we want then enterprise will be decided and they will purchase and they are going to be work with that okay so ibm corporation is providing here cybase db2 neteja informix like so bajaj pulsar bajaj avenger both are bikes same way here also ibm cybase db2 neteja informix whatever we want to be purchase the license then purchase and then go and implement it so microsoft sql server microsoft corporation is providing two databases one is access second one is sql server it is sql server is a tool it's not a technology it's a tool it is to store your data or to organize your data or to maintain our data why we are coming for the databases not only to maintain a data lot of things then we can do it okay security we can provide the data okay years and years and years we can keep the data and then we can transform the data from one place to other place from one database to other database okay so then we can analyze the data right for your analytical data so data warehouses these are all lot of process lot of purpose is there that is what we are coming for the databases to store our data why not in excel so excel can't be handled after one lakh see today after one lakh records excel is going to be handled so it's not going to be performed well so huge volumes of data if you want to be handled databases are required that is what we are coming to choose the database maybe enterprise so if you are a application developer or a bi developer not only the single database maybe they can provide a oracle or a sql server or a teradata or a db2 okay so whatever they are providing there we have to be work right or wrong <clears throat> yes once if we purchase the tool then we required a interact with the tool we required how can we interact with the tool if i purchase a bike driving is mandatory here if i don't know the driving how can i travel one place to other place with this bike driving is a mediator here the same way here sql is a language sql is a language to speak with your database engines engine is not like the bike engine don't ask me to show the engine okay it's not like a bike engine it's a pure an algorithm it is okay to speak with the engine or to say some request to the engine okay then we required a language is called as sql sql is a global language to speak with not oracle not for sql server not for teradata see sql developed by this ibm corporation in 1970s initially they call it as a sql now we are calling c so so sql it is structured query language why because this is a included in american national standard institution okay so for what for to communicate with all databases oracle cybase microsoft sql server access teradata if i know the driving then i can drive any bike right wrong yeah. so if i learn driving with a ac or pulsar so so far i am using pulsar today i want to be purchase royal enfield okay same driving driving is not going to be vary tool will vary here same driving is same right or wrong but a little bit of environmental difficulty will come down right yeah. 
So Royal Enfield is a heavy bike, more CC. Okay, double engine. So little bit of difficulty will raise. One week, seven week, if I go with that, then we can go what completely with Royal Enfield. Right or wrong? Yeah. So the same way here also. SQL is a global language, common language it is. If you know SQL, okay, then we can go and we can speak with any database. Right? That is the way then we are going to be learning this SQL part here. So why this SQL? Okay, fine. SQL is there to speak with a, a database. Okay? So how can we speak with the database and all then we'll see practically tomorrow. And if once if you purchase this tool, then construction is required, right? I purchased iron, cement, bricks to construct the building. Yes, what is the purpose of building? Or residential or a go down, see here. Or where you want to be constructed or on-premises or a cloud. Two areas are there here. Okay, two environments we are having. So two environments level, then we can construct this database. Once off, after purchase. See here, one is on-premises level. This one is pure on-premises it is. On-premises means, what? So, in local machine, it's nothing but own house, land I need to purchase, building construction, maintenance, everything we have to be control here, right or wrong? Okay, the premises is very secure, no one will touch without my permission. Same process here also. If you want to construct this database, okay, then we required a platform is required. Platform is required. So that platform, on-premises platform means hardware, software, maintenance, so installation, purchase, everything controlled by us. That is mean by this on-premises. Means your local systems, laptops, or in enterprise level, servers. Server is nothing but that is also the system, heavy configuration machine it is. As it is like as your laptop. But not like that, then I want to stay in Hyderabad just three months only. Okay? So I need to purchase a house here. No, why? On premises, I don't have such capacity to purchase a own house. Why I need to purchase to stay here three months? Okay, then go for the rental house. That is mean by the cloud it is. Rental house means, so as for our requirement, each and every month pay them, use the premises, and then after leave it, that's it. No construction, no maintenance, so no purchase. Right? That is mean by this cloud it is. Different cloud enterprises are there nowadays. They are providing everything as a service here. So that is, we call it as a cloud. Cloud is a environment to provide everything as a service. So Microsoft Cloud, what is the name of the Microsoft Cloud? Azure. And Google Cloud. So then Amazon. Okay. Then after Salesforce, and then after Workday, Redshift, Alibaba, like this. That is not that Alibaba. So Alibaba is organization. So they are also providing the environment. Whatever environment you want, pay them each and every month, use the premises, and after the agreement, close the premises. That's it. Okay. So here and there, in both areas, then we can go and we can construct our database to store our data. Clear now, all of you? So that is what we required here, SQL part is required. The day start onwards, 
the maximum data will be presented on databases only. That doesn't matter what database it is, or a transactional database or analytical database it is. So most of the case, the data will be presented. So in databases only, whatever database it is, either Oracle or SQL Server, Teradata, MongoDB. So different people are going to be maintained different databases to load their data or to organize their data, okay, to govern the data in databases. So only 10% or so 5% only, the data will be presented in file formats, okay? It's not secured. So it's not more than we are coming for files, okay? So this was the importance of this data. And here, what we are going to be cover here is in this course, and we are going to be cover all these topics in deep, all of you online guys. So till if you are not shared your mail IDs and phone numbers, please provide your mails and phone numbers along with the numbers. See, it will take 30 to 35 hours it will take this course. And we are going to be covered here at deep. Thirty five hours daily one hour session. So this is Monday to Friday. So Saturday, then I will plan for okay, practical oriented complete practice. It is okay. I have available here. I will give you the practical document or else the exam. Okay, I will conduct the exam here. So then that is the test you have to be right down, not like other technologies. So, and the test or turnover, then you have to write the code behind here. What is we have to write? The more practice is important here. Okay. So then only then you will get, and then after then I will explain the project. So it's a real to the near, real to this industry. I will give you the project. This project, then you yourself, you have to do it. All these are all will be covered here, the topics. So SQL overview, components and installation, and all sub-languages, constraints, indexes, set operators, subqueries, joins, views, functions, and the complete TSQL part. Transact SQL or PLSQL. This one is a vendor-based specification. So in Oracle, we are calling it is a PLSQL, Procedural Language and SQL Language. In SQL Server, we call it is a TSQL, Transact SQL means, so set of lines of code, we have to be control the execution process through the program. Basic fund fundamental programming knowledge is required here to write this TSQL and PLSQL code. Okay, this is all we are going to be learn here at deep. So this is the way the lectures will happen daily, one hour. Tomorrow then we'll see. So practical implementation, how can we speak with the database? how the database look like, different databases I will show you, Oracle and SQL Server and all. Different databases we'll see and talks also we'll see. For example, Telugu is a language, okay? But if you are entered into the police station, this Telugu will vary. If you are entered into the bank, Telugu will vary. Both are Telugu only, okay? So in bank, they will speak account, loan, insurance, policy like this. If you are entered into the police station, there is no policies, only case, investigation, and fights. This will tell you, tell you only, that is, talks will vary. Same process here also. If you are application developer, 
there is a different talk. If you are a BI developer, there is a different talk. Both will be covered here, right? So both are going to be covered here. No worry about it. So after this course completion, whatever we are going to be provided, if you are practice with that documents, that is a more than sufficient to place in your resumes with a combination of technology or else plain SQL developer. So four or five years of plain SQL developer also, then you are eligible to, to try for that. So that is this complete course pattern. And tomorrow then we have a second demo. So second demo level, then we'll see this complete databases, how it looks like, how to interact with this SQL part. By using SQL, how can we say something to the database? Then we'll ask. We'll see tomorrow. So online guys, give me two minutes, then I will give you the timeline for to for your queries one by one. Give me two minutes. All of you guys. So far is clear. So if you have any questions, please raise your questions. Fine, guys, all of you. So one by one, do you have any queries, guys? Uh, yes, Amish. Ah, yeah. Actually, I'm going to actually in testing side and later move on to the data unit side. Hello. Yeah. Sorry, Ramesh. Uh, so and uh, it's breaking your voice. Is Oh, sorry. Uh, actually, you know, test engineer on the presenter. Okay. Data engineer said more volunteer, a tool better and power BI better, snowflake better. And if you are in ETL and uh, that is uh, snowflake is better. Okay. So, SPL with uh, snowflake is better? Uh, yes, yes, that is that is um, that's better to go for uh, snowflake. Okay. Uh, are you providing the snowflake? For any we are not providing the snowflake here in my uh, institution. Okay. Okay. Got it. Uh, yeah. So if you want, then I will I will give you the contact. 
Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, maths, I will try to attend the for offline classes only from maybe day after tomorrow. Sure, sure. Yeah, thank you. Akil, Deepthi, and Singh. Jani, Neelima. Do you have any queries, guys? Hi, sir. Yes, uh, the previous Good people. morning. Uh, but, sir, yeah. like uh, currently I am a part of developer and matter. So I am thinking to learn SQL and okay, I am fine with your uh, teaching and all. So Naku Inkokat Koda on the end, like power apps coda in work chest on matter. But not that much uh, power power app power apps, power automata. Mm -hmm. But not that much uh echo on the knowledge level. So I'm thinking power apps and automate too. Uh, institute le manna power apps automate unda and ports. Uh, power apps is there. Power apps is there and uh, power automation is there. And uh, uh -huh. please uh, go and uh, ask the uh, reception and uh, they will okay. give the information. Sure, sure. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Anybody else apart from this guys, Rajesh? Yeah. Hello. Yeah, please. Yeah. Hi, Sridhar. Yeah, hi. Uh, actually, like, can I get any previous videos? Yes, definitely. And uh, so you want to talk with me. So personally, then go and uh, take this number. Okay. Uh, my number is 807469530. So please call me. Whatever your doubts or whatever your concerns, if you want to speak. So in between of uh, 12 to 4, then I will give you the guidelines. Yes, sure. Anything else apart from this, guys? And like, can you teach any uh, other databases? Uh, other databases? So we, or no, we are not going for others. Other databases. And if you want, so Teradata and SQL Server, so then we, we we are providing only those two. Okay. And is there any chance uh, that you will teach in Telugu? We'll see, ma. We'll see and uh, the, about the batch. And uh, so if uh, somebody else are not um, in Telugu people, if they are not, so then we can't speak in Telugu. So if okay. uh, the batch is completely have a, uh, like uh, Telugu people or less number of others, in the post then we can speak in Telugu. I will cover, no worry about in it. In both the languages, then I will cover. Okay. And one more doubt. Uh, like, actually, I'm having an idea on a Postgres database. Okay. And, uh, like, can we become with, uh, uh, like, full stack developer with uh, SQL? Yes, definitely. Then, but uh, then if you want to become a SQL developer, so then we required a uh, complete modeling uh, uh, knowledge and also and communicational skills. Why? Because as a developer, then we had to be interact with the business analyst to prepare these uh, uh, models and uh, okay. databases. So more skills we required. Okay. Modeling concepts. And that is all we are going to be cover here anyway. So. Okay. So definitely then you can try for this complete pure SQL developer also. Okay, fine. Yes, Chandra Shekhar, do you have any question? Sir. Yes, please. Sir, my number in Gosar Japan, sir. So here it is the display is there. Eight zero seven four. I mean, me the number can number less. Yes, six nine. Hmm. Okay. Five one three zero. Okay, thanks, sir. The one more thing. Hello. Yes, please, Neil. Sir, I am already taking Power BI classes um, through Vinaytech only, mm -hmm. and I want to join SQL oh. and uh, I will explain how to use SQL in Power BI also and. Uh, the recording videos, how long will get an access to use? So the access will provide for SQL. It is uh, 
one hour or sorry one year one okay. year is available on trial okay sir. so then according to your question about related to uh, power bi this definitely whatever we are uh, uh, going here that is completely it will be helpful for the power bi so power oh, yes. level mandatory skill sql is mandatory yes sir, yes sir. that's why right. okay. thank you sir so if it is possible then i will show you some scenarios also how to okay. connect with your power bi and what is the reality of this uh, uh, sql usage on power bi to do this okay thank you sir uh, anybody else apart from this kiran manjula sesi siddu srikanth and who is on windows rajesh okay guys if you have any queries so about uh, subject or your career doubts and all then directly call me then uh, i will uh, give you the clarification on that thank you we'll connect tomorrow same time for second demo practical implementation then i will show you thank you all of you thank you thank you all thank you yeah.